How to write an article in Canva. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to do so. This is going to be a very simple process that you can take with Canva and you can write your own article with your own design and everything. And on top of that, everything is going to be for free. So let's just go ahead and get to it. The first thing is that you will need to create your account on canva.com. It's completely for free and you can just, you know, uh, create your account with your email and you should be good to go. Once you do that, you should find yourself in the main dashboard, which is uh, this one right here. And you have two different options to start with uh, writing a article or an article. Uh, the fir first one being is that you want to go to the search box here at the top and search for article. Find the template that is going to suit your style best. And obviously you can feel free to edit it uh, later on. But just, you know, take a uh, simple template and turn it into something that you actually want. Or uh, you can actually go ahead and first create a blank custom size uh, template from this button right here, which should say custom size. If you take this route, if you click on custom size, you would want to usually look for a four size unless you have um, a better idea of what you actually want. So if you want to search for specifics, you can just click on more here at the bottom left and you can just search for, for example, a four. Uh, and it should actually show you the A4 uh, document here. So you can actually go ahead and select that and it should open up here for you and you can feel free to start writing uh, either on a blank space here or you can actually go ahead and start looking for some templates within this uh, page here. If you want to look for some templates instead of, you know, uh, starting from scratch, first I recommend that you zoom in. Uh, I personally like to zoom in to make things easier for me to see. Uh, and then if you want to add a template, you just want to go to design here. And then from design, you basically want to search for something that uh, could possibly generate some templates for you. So you could just go for article, for example, and it should show you some different options here to choose from. And there's going to be plenty to go with. And uh, the only thing that you need to note, however, is that if it says uh, pro at the bottom right of a specific template, then you will need to have the pro um, version of Canva in order to actually use that uh, because it does use pro futures. But let's say we found something that we like. Let's say this one right here. You can just feel free to drag or drop, drag and drop, sorry, or just click on it and it's actually going to apply it to your um, page here and it should act actually take the background uh, for you. Now, uh, if the template presents some images, that's good. You can feel free to replace them very easily. And to replace these images, it's very simple. Uh, you first want to actually find the images or upload them. And to do so, you just want to go to the left dashboard, go to uploads and click on upload file. And once you upload files, it should all be in here within the images tab. Unless it's a video, then it's going to be in the videos tab and so on. And to replace these images, you simply just drag and drop them. So let's say we want to replace this image with the color purple. We can just drag this and drop it over here. And you can actually see that it pretty much just, you know, takes place on that image. Same goes for the rest of them. So if you want to change them as well, you can feel free to do so uh, using this method. Now, when it comes to the actual text that is in here, you obviously would want to uh, take your time to adjust everything here. So when it comes to the actual title, you would want to click on it and change it. Now to change text that is already existing, uh, it's very simple. What you need to do is just double click on it. And this is going to highlight the text for you. And then you can feel free to just write whatever you want. However, in this case, we have two different uh, bodies of text for one header and I don't really want that I just want one body of text uh, to include the entire header so I'm just going to delete one of them to do so you just want to select it with one click and then just click on delete and it should delete it for you and then if you want to uh, place something else in a different place you can just drag and drop it like so and I'm just going to leave it right over here and again if you want to change the text double click and write whatever you want now, if it, if it takes space like this and it's more like boxed, you can just drag this sidebar here to the right as long as you have the proper space for it. And it's actually going to take that place for you. 
now quickly if you want to change fonts and also colors and stuff you uh, it's very simple you want to highlight whatever you want to change so i'm just going to change the entire thing and then you can actually see this bar at the top with different settings so you can actually change the font by clicking in here and you're going to find different fonts you can uh, change the font size you can also change the text color you can make it bold italics underline strike through and even change the alignment of the text if you want uh, bullet points or numbers you can use the list or even make it transparent if you want to so with that out of the way we can just feel free to um, double click on this entire thing delete it and start writing our own text now let's say you wanted to start from scratch and you don't really have any text whatsoever and you want to add text it's very easy you go to the left side here and you can find the text option from here you can obviously just add a subheading add a heading or even a body of text by dragging and dropping it exactly where you want it to be and again you can just feel free to drag it wherever you want it to be um, and adjust the size for it and here you can obviously adjust the text that's in it and you know exactly what to do with it now so aside from that what we can also do you know other than changing the rest of the text in here uh, is that we can actually make some uh, links clickable so if you want to add citations or if you want to add for example links to other pages your references and so on you can simply do so so in this case we have this link here at the bottom that we can feel free to change and make it into a clickable link so first let's just actually change the link itself because this is not ours so we can just do for example www.google.com for example now to make this clickable again it's very simple you want to just highlight the entire thing that you want clickable and then you're going to find this little thing uh, toolbox which is a lot smaller than one the, at the top and you should be able to find link option you basically want to click on that and then you would want to add the link uh, that you want to direct people to so in this case is google.com and then in this case it's just going to do it for us and click on done and it should actually underline the text for us if you want to remove the underline you can feel free to do so by just highlight highlighting it go to the top toolbox this time or toolbar uh, and uh, uncheck underline and it should be unchecked but you can obviously make it bold or you know something unique just so people can know that it is uh, clickable so let's just uh, apply that to a smaller text here so we have this body of text so we can just select for example dummy here and make this a clickable link so we can just first make it bold and change the color for it to become for example green uh, and i'm just going to leave it as that and then click on the link option and again just do for example google.com like so and click on done and also uh, turn off the underline and now people can actually see it on green and people can actually click on it and we are pretty much done it's that simple to add uh, whatever you want when it comes to elements and you're good to go now here's the thing you can always just feel free to change uh, other things here as well for example if you have this box you can actually change the color for it by clicking on the color icon on it and also if you want to add more things like an image uh, independent of the images that we already seen uh, we can just drag and drop them from the upload section and resize them to whichever type we want or you can also use frames by going to elements here and if you go to elements you can just go to frame and you should be able to see these frames and if you just place one of these frames for example in here you're going to be uh, able to just drag and drop whatever you want and that and it's going to take its place so we can just drag this drop it and we can actually see now it's a circle so uh, there's a lot more when it comes to the elements section there's plenty more uh, graphics videos audios there's plenty that you can actually use when it comes to the elements section so you can even create tables which is not really necessary for this uh, tutorial but you can create lines and stuff like that if you just search up line you can find plenty more lines or even shapes so you can just search shapes and you're going to be able to find you know squares and stuff which you can change colors for and so on so all of these design aspects are available in canva and it's it's, uh, it's pretty easy to use and once you're done you can always just go ahead and add in yet another page and you're good to go or you even uh, you can even for example 
um, duplicate this one. Just click on duplicate page on top of it, which should create a duplicate if it's easier for you to edit this way. So with that being said, hopefully you found this video to be informative and thanks for watching. Actually, before I end this, I just remembered because we did actually create, you know, clickable links in order in order for them to work. You actually need to click on share on the top right, click on download and then don't download this as PNG. You actually need to download this as either PDF standard or PDF print if you want the, uh, the links to be clickable. Otherwise, it's not going to be. So just select PDF standard and just make sure you select all pages. Click on download and you are pretty much good to go. So yeah, again, thanks for watching.